Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Social Side, and this is part one of ADF tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about the introduction part of the ADF. So in this video series, we will be going to see in the details, step by step, all the concepts inside the ADF. So before going forward, if you haven't watched the Azure tutorial videos, then I would strongly recommend to watch all those videos. So for that, you can go on the browser and you can search for SS Unitech. And after that, you can go in the channel. Then you can go inside the playlist and inside the playlist, you will see the playlist for the Azure tutorial. So you can watch all those videos. So here you can understand what is Azure and what are the different different things you can understand over here so let's get started with the today's video so what is adf so adf is the azure data factory and adf is the azure's cloud etl service so this is very similar to the ssis ssis is on-prem etl tool and this is azure cloud etl service and this is scale out the serverless data integration and data transformation it offers a code free UI for intuitive authorizing and single pane of glass monitoring and management. You can also lift and shift existing SSIS packages to the Azure and run them with fully compatibility in ADF. So if you are having your existing SSIS packages, so those packages we can directly use inside the ADF. So that we will see in the upcoming videos. Next is the SSIS integration runtime offers a fully managed service. So you don't need to worry about the infrastructure management. So here you can create the pipelines. So pipelines are very similar to the SSIS packages. So here we can create the pipelines and under that pipeline, we can do the ETL operations. So as ADF is a cloud based ETL tool, so E for the extract, T for the transform, and L for the load. So here we can extract the data from different different sources. And after that, we can do the transformation on that data to make the meaningful data. And after that, we can load that data into any destination. So this is the ETL tool for the cloud. And SSIS is the tool for the on-prem environments. So here you can understand how flows are going in the industries. So first you can see the data sources. So the data source that could be in the on-prem network or it might be on the external data that could be the binary data or the Cosmos data that will be the NoSQL data. And then we are having this data factory. So inside the data factory, we can consume that data from the on-prem networks or the external data that could be the Cosmos script or the cloud data. And we are going to store that inside the store blob. We have already discussed about the storage blob in the Azure tutorial playlist. So you can watch that and understand about the store blob. And after that, you can see the SQL data warehouse. So this is again, we have already discussed in the Azure tutorial part. So you can watch there. So first we can get it all this data. And after that, inside the data factory, we can load that data inside the SQL data warehouse. And after that, now data is available in the data warehouse. Next, we can use any analysis services. And after that, we can represent that data inside the visualization. And for the visualizations, nowadays we are going to use for the Power BI, which is very powerful tool for the Microsoft. So next about the Azure Data Factory versus SSIS. So as I told you, Azure Data Factory and SSIS both are the ETL tool. Azure Data Factory is the ETL tool for the cloud and SSIS is the ETL tool for the on-prem environments. If your data is available on your local system or local Excel file, then you can use the SSIS packages. And if your data is available on the cloud, on that scenarios, you can use the Azure Data Factory. And Azure Data Factory is much more powerful because it can be integrated with your on-prem environments as well. So Azure Data Factory have the facility to interact with your on-prem environment as well as with the cloud environment. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have the better understanding about the ADF. 
in the next video we will be going to see in depth knowledge see you in the next video